Hey guys, welcome back to Falcons RC, the home of the scale of jets. And here we are ready to start with a new project. You know, after we basically burn up this uh, speed control right here on the DJ55, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the other EDF out of it and I'm going to build myself a thrust vector in jet. Uh, I kind of have an idea on my head what I want the jet to look like. Uh, I have no drawings yet of it. So we're just gonna start working on it and see what we can come up with. Okay guys, let's start working on this new project. guys this is what we got so far as you see right here I, I decided to to put the you know to bevel the leading edge of the wings and also you see I already attached the EDF to the back of it which I put my firewall in here and this is gonna be cut out to allow more air you know the, the air to get more easier into the EDF and I, I think I have an idea already what, what I want to do with the fuselage you know to get the air inside of it and also I think I'm going to have two vertical stabilizers, not just one uh, because I want, I want, I'm going to be trying to do high angle of attack, high alpha fly and with one single vertical stabilizer on the top over here uh, the fuselage is going to block the air to it so I'm going to put two, one on each side probably of the you know of the EDF uh, in that way I can get the air from, uh, uh, from the side of the wings to the vertical stabilizer of the wings to the vertical stabilizer and it won't be so easy to install so anyway uh, also I was gluing these things right here together I haven't glued them yet uh, I just cut them uh, they are gonna be the back of the exhaust basically as you see there is just a bunch of rings cut of foam ADA and they're gonna be glued together guys and they're gonna go back here this is basically what I'm going to be attaching all the thrust vectoring system into it uh, you see this is gonna go right here on the back of it and in that way we are also going to have a very nice round end on the back of the jet you know so they're going to be glued together and the thrust vector system is going to go in front and you know back here on it uh, anyway guys uh, basically that's what we got so far uh, i'm going to go ahead and glue them together and keep watching guys okay guys as you can see i already glued them all together uh, they're strong and very nice so this is going to be on the back of the edf you see right there nice and tight right there and on the front of the EDF you know this is gonna be here and this is gonna be you know all round over here too until about this point right here uh, I already cut this piece basically guys there is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be gluing over these circles that you see right here these rings uh, I put uh, this piece that belongs under the ring with double sided tape as you can see the tape over there uh, I put it over there because I'm gonna be putting some pressure in it you know and I don't want that thing to break or crack whenever I put pressure on it as you see I have I'm, I have numbers on all of them so I'm gonna go ahead guys and glue them on place and we're going to put it here just to see what it's gonna look like okay let's keep working on it hey guys as you can see this thing looks very nice now it's pretty much done as you see nice uh, this is going to be held on place by, by magnets uh, this is going to be right here at the front where the EDF is let me hold it right here there you go you know this is going to be here up with magnets to hold on place and that way I can get it off to get to my EDF and to my speed control that I'm probably going to mount it somewhere over here or on this side and the intakes of these jet guys are going to be right here on the shoulders of the jet so you know we'll see what it's going to look like later on and what I have to do right now, I'm probably going to have to go ahead and do the, the fuselage, you know, the front of it. In that way I can have an idea what I want them, the intakes to look like. And as you see, this is going to be the back of it, the exhaust, as you see right there. You can see very clearly to the EDF over there. And, and it is actually turned out very nice because they, they meet and join right here very nice. You see right there, because these things are going to be wrapped around with the same blue foam. So they're going to be very nice and smooth flash with, with each other. And the thrust vectoring system is going to be back here. The servo for the elevator thrust vectoring is probably going to be inside of the intake. And the rotor servo is going to be somewhere out here. 
and this hole, this right here is gonna be glue in place. Uh, it, it's gonna snap right there into the into the intake, but it's gonna be glue in place from the bottom. Basically, this whole bottom right here is gonna be one solid piece, and this is gonna be holding the, this back right here, so it's gonna be a solid bond too, you know. Um, basically, that's it, guys. That's all we're going to be doing today. Uh, we're gonna start working on the fuselage on the next video. Uh, real quick, let me show you uh, this foam right here. This cell foam ADA. Uh, it's about, it's, I believe it's 10 millimeters thick. Uh, you see, they basically glued through two of them five millimeters together to get the 10 millimeters. Uh, cell foam ADA, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. And that's the one, the foam I use to to call all these rings right here that you see right here. That's the foam I used to call all those rings and, you know, so you can get it at Hobby Lobby, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, uh, subscribe. See you next time.